man, it's it's spreading through the fishing world like crazy. It has been for several years, uh, and it's called Max Scent. We're gonna dive into what it is, what it's all about, and we got Mark Sexton from Berkeley here to talk to us. Thanks, man. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. I love talking to you guys because you get into the weeds. You that, know? <laughs> that's right. We go deep, that's deep right. into the hydrilla. Like it. <laughs> and that's what we that's what we want to do for our group because our guys at Bash University, that's what they want to hear, right? We got hardcore uh, anglers that are passionate about the sport and. Uh, Man, I want to know, because I know they want to know, uh, about Max Scent, because it is the flatworm dominated up north on uh, the Thousand Islands, that, that sort of stuff. John Cox uh, talks about swim bait fishing and the importance of Max Scent as his trailer. And Hank Cherry, we just talked about, leading the classic at the moment, uh, crushed two for, five, for 10 pounds this morning and uh, leading it using Max Scent. So, um, Let's talk, what, what is Max Scent? Well, you know, we've had power bait since the 80s, right? And we're the leaders in scent, and everyone knows that. I mean, we literally have a, a lab that's the size of half this facility that we study fish's senses, right? And their sense of smell is a big deal. And so power bait was always on that platform, right? Not only does it look good, but it appeals to another sense, the, the smell, and then when they grab it, it appeals to that sense as well. That's three out of their five senses. The more senses you can appeal to, the better chance you're going to have of catching more fish. Right. So, what Max Scent does that power bait does not, or any other plastic bait, is it oozes scent into the water a lot faster. We actually do a dem demonstration where we, we soak these baits in like a red dye, and you soak a power arm in red dye, right? Or actually you infuse it in there, put it in the water, and you can see the Max Scent just oozing out instantly, right? And power bait's holding on to it. I mean, power bait has a few holes in it, so it leaches out a little bit, but this oozes out super fast. Wow. So when we first launched this stuff, we did finesse shapes because we were hoping they would fish slow. Drop shots, shaky heads, Nico rigs, stuff like that. Because we wanted that bait to stay put for a while. Because then it creates a scent field. The fish may swim by, not see it, catch that scent field, start right hunting up. for it and then he finds it and he eats and it's done, right? right? You can't do that with another plastic bait. That's the beauty of Max. That's that, well, so it's a depleting, what, it's leaching out all the time. And uh, how does that affect the bait? I guess there, there's a lifespan on the bait. You know, you're, that bait will be tore up to bits before it runs out of scent. <laughs> and yeah, we fill them up good. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so how did you guys, Come about that formula. Is is it a is it the same formula in, in power base? A different formula or? Well, I can tell you, but I'd have to put you down. So, <laughs> no. It's a. I mean, it's it's PVC material. It's just a different process of making PVC, and it okay. allows it to have basically little caverns. Like, you know, if you see like zoom up on like a surface, but there's little potholes in it. Right. That's kind of what Max Sen is. So then we can infuse that. And what that does is the more surface area in a bait has the more water contact, right? And when the water contacts the bait, it takes away that attractant and puts it into the water. It's that simple. So like in power bait, we used to tell all the people, like, take your hook and jab it in that worm like 50 times, because that makes more surface area, right? Surface area, yeah. And if you look, a lot of the baits we've designed over the years have a lot of ridges, a lot of cuts, side cuts. Um, you look at some of the stuff we've done with Ike, they all have extra service area and that's done on purpose. So that allows us to make bigger scent fields. That works in our favor and the angler's favor. Yeah, well, that's interesting. I never really thought about it from that perspective. We talked about Max Scent, you know, finesse baits. We know how important it is for small mouth, but it's huge for large mouth too. Oh, it's, it's, I mean, a fish is a fish is a fish physiologically, right? And a small mouth and a large mouth are, are, are the same genus, different species, right? Their makeup of, of what they can sense is very, very, very similar. The differences on how they forage is generally the, you know, the locations they live and their attitudes, right? Smallmouth are more pelagic, they're roamers, they're gypsies, right? They're gonna chase stuff. Largemouth are, are way more ambush if they can be, right? They'll sit in a bush for, you know, three hours and wait, right? Where a smallmouth's like, screw that, I'm out. Let's go chase those <laughs> things, right? But a large mouth, we did the majority of our, our, our lab testing and field testing on Max Scent on large mouth. So all the numbers that we claim and are, and are, are quite sure of, I mean, this catches 45% more than even power bait. 
and that's all based on large models. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.